we believe that this message will be a blessing to you so I want you to stay glued and watch to the end and share to bless others this is Christocentric we have a lot of Apostle Eric Nyamiche's message on our platform kindly check them out thank you for watching stay blessed those who hold her fast will be blessed those who hold on fast to wisdom will be blessed wisdom is a principal thing why do we need wisdom number two you see it is the first of God's creation and it needs to be investigated the first creation of God is not Adam, but wisdom. If it is the first, it needs to be investigated. We have to inquire into it. Now, the whole of chapter 8 of Proverbs talks about wisdom. It Proverbs chapter 8, verse 1. Let's go and read. This is verse 1. Does not wisdom call out? Does not understanding raise her voice? So in the whole chapter, wisdom is going to speak to us. It is going to raise its voice. And no, 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 so listening to some of the things that wisdom is going to say so we go to verse 22 now I want us to pay close attention the Lord brought me forth as the first of his works before his deeds. Before God began any creation, God brought wisdom forth first. I, wisdom, was formed long ages ago. At the very beginning when the world came to be. Free infitiasi when there was no watery death, I was giving birth. And our woman. When there was no springs overflowing with water, in Sutra, Eba, in Siopi, before the mountains were settled in place, before the hills, I was giving birth. Before he made the world, or its fields, any wirim, or any of the dust of the earth, any we are seeing for no. I was there when he set the heavens in place. Oh, see, see, Osro, no, name waho. So wisdom is saying that I was there when it, God set the heavens in place. It's in answer, eh, kase. Me waho bra na wori see, see, Osro. When he marked the horizon on the face of the deep bra o twa ebunu ni nkonton kron no when he establish the clouds above or and the physically the mountains of the deep or the munun kum sensane osuru pintin na ebunu munsuo eni wa pai den den when he gave the sea its boundaries o twa epochie so the waters would not overstep his command na insuo antra and when he marked the foundations of the earth. Now, the asasi fa pemto hono. I wisdom. Me nyansa. I was there. Na me waho. How do I know that what wisdom is saying is true? Me yade me who said the nyansa eke e no kure. That he was there. He was the first of all God's creation. Say na waho na oye onyango pa body na mudiedi kain. Psalm one o four verse twenty four. And I want us to read together if you can. Verse 24. Shall we read together? Ready, go. How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. 
Nyansa mu na wo ye ni na wa bodye ahye asase so ma. In wisdom you made them all. Nyansa mu na wo ye ni na. So wisdom was before anything at all was made. Enti na nyansa wo ho ansa na wo bo bibiara. So we need wisdom. Enti ye hia nyansa we must seek it. As I say, because for us to be able to make and to develop our communities, we will need what God had from the beginning. Wisdom. It is a bit to me, Abua, na impuntu abba, ya mine, any young crahu drumwa, and then not ye hear the nanya me wo ah, or the fiasse, any yan. So when you are in stool as a king, it is a what you see at the associate or henna before you begin anything. And send out every be 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 like God. Yet is any me. You will need wisdom. Obe here in answer. Number three. They toss you me answer. Wisdom is the foundation upon which things are established. Nyansa any fapima will see near my awaso. When it comes to building, wisdom is required. So, a basa wosi bribia ye hien yansa. We are talking about building relationships like marriage. So, ye kase wosi ayonko fati sa warie. You see, you don't marry just because the fellow is beautiful or handsome or the person is rich. You may go in and marry because of this, but to keep the relationship, to build a marriage, you don't need money to do that. You need wisdom. Wisdom is required. Let's say that you have an issue with your wife. And a certain word comes into your mind. The word is spelled in English F O O L. Now, so you are angry. And then this word comes into your mind. If you want to speak it, the effect it is going to come in the relationship. So, wisdom will say that you don't tell your wife. You are a fool. One country will you say, Say, be your quassia. We need wisdom. We need wisdom in building relationships. We need wisdom in keeping friendship. When it comes to building vocations, we need wisdom. When it comes to building businesses, it's not about money, it is about wisdom. You give a fool one million Ghana cities. You just start a business, come back the next month. He has squandered all the money. What did ma okwasiya sika opepepe bakon say onfanye juma ochina bra obeba no na wase sika no. You need wisdom to be a king. Uhiye nyansa na udie dihene. If your dynasty will stand, you will need wisdom. Enti wahini enu a wantu atu asono ebe jina uhiye nyansa. Proverbs three verse nineteen. Mebu sem eti miensa enche mudun kro. Are we together? If you are here, can you lift up your hand for me to see? Now, pay attention to this. Shall we read together? By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth's foundation. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. So we are saying that wisdom is the foundation of Upon which things are built. Unfortunately, people build their vocations on foundations like beauty, money, power, fame, anointing. You see, when you build on all these things, no problem. But the rain will come, the storms will range against your building, and it will not stand. Because it's not founded on the solid rock, wisdom. And I rehearse them so they say, "You must be honest, you see, 
yen abrabo eni ye juma ni ade ewo em ne ma etete se eh edin se ye ba edin se ye nya ngosra se ye nya sika eni ne keka ho na se ye sisi sa ne ma no ewo sa ne ma yi so a kai hunu se dako nsio beto ehum bebo en frama ebebo na se eto na ehum tu a sa dan na wesi no e be dwiregu e fi se ensi fa pemo a ye nya nsa no eso number 4 the toso 9 why we need wisdom it is the craftsman it is the foundation and the craftsman or the two oye fapem eno oye odanse fo nyansa fo anase edwindade a ye disi it is the builder ono ena osi it is needed for development eno ne ye hia ama impuntu aba proverbs 3 mebu semti miensa verse 30 Proverbs 3.30 Then I was constantly at his side. Now the ESV will say that Then I was constantly at his side like a master workman. So wisdom was at the side of God Na, as a master craftsman workman. As an architect by his side, the New Living Translation. As a master craftsman, the King James. You should always have wisdom by your side as a king, as the builder, as a tool. As a tool. Now, chiefs, our dear royals, please listen to me. When it comes to development, your greatest need is not a politician. That is why we are corrupting this beautiful institution because we think that our greatest need is to connect to a politician. No, not a rich man. Not a philanthropist. It is wisdom. It is the tool for development. Your greatest need it's not a politician. How did Solomon use his wisdom? How was wisdom a tool in his hands? First Kings 4, 1 to 8. for woman, Edikai, Eti and I. Now, I want you to write it down. I will not read that one. But 1 Kings 4, 1 to 8 talks about how he organized his kingdom. Like his father. To the extent that even his sheep, his cattle, his animals had supervisors. Ah, kosi se ni mwai nentie ene ne mwampo na wo wo ahwefo very organized wa tutu ahshe bibia pepe 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 and he worked with them na oni won e ye djuma but i'll read second chronicles 9 na so making kai e preso se mu ma etosu mienu itinkron from verse 1 if in che mu ba ko e ko at the effects of his wisdom yen hwe Second Chronicles 9 from verse 1. When the queen of Sheba heard of Solomon's fame, she came to Jerusalem to test him with hard questions. Arriving with a very great caravan. With camels carrying spices. Large quantities of gold. 
and precious stones. She came to Solomon and talked with him about all she had on her mind. Solomon answered all her questions. Nothing was too hard for him to explain to her. When the queen of Sheba saw the wisdom of Solomon. So, wisdom can be seen. So, when you display wisdom, your, your followers will see your wisdom. As well as the palace he had built. Look at the effect of wisdom. The food on his table. The sitting of his official. The attending servants in their robes. The cup bearers in their robes. The burnt offering he made at the temple of the Lord. Now she was overwhelmed. She said to the king, The report I heard in my own country about your achievements and your wisdom is true. But I did not believe what they said until I came and saw with my own eyes. Indeed, not even half of your greatness the greatness of your wisdom was told me. You have far exceeded the report I heard. Now let's read verse 7 together. How happy your people must be. Now when you are king and you are leading with wisdom, there is going to be developments because wisdom is going to be true for delivery and your people will be happy. And she said, what your honey? Now she said, what the and the honey now? And she how happy your official. The kings you rule with, your subchiefs. Who continually stand before you and hear your wisdom. Number five. Wisdom is the spirit of leadership. Why we need wisdom? Because it is a spirit of leadership. Once you have been elevated to be a leader, you will need it. Now, Proverbs chapter 8 again, and I'm saying that the whole of chapter 8 is about wisdom. So let's read 15 and 16. Verse 15 and 16. Maybe say, meeting what you Makase etin wotwe ni na no efa nyansa ho enti yankin kan et enchiche mu dunum eni dunsia now shall we please be on our feet Mestre, and read this together mesre se mo me en sori nyina ya na monso ni enkan mu mu bebre mo motena class we ma che it be mo so motena ho ma bebre it's been a while since you stayed in the classroom and i've observed that some of you are tired sitting <laughs> Shall we read this together? Ready, go. By, By me, me. <laughs> excuse me, the me there is who? Wisdom. So let's replace the me with wisdom. Shall we go? By, By wisdom, wisdom, kings reign and rulers issue decrees that are just. Sometimes rulers issue decrees, and you know that this one, we. It's because of his pocket. Now, the next verse. The next verse. By me, wisdom, princes govern, and nobles, all who rule on earth. By me, princes govern, and nobles. All who rule on earth. How many of us are rulers? Let me see by hands. So, if you want to rule, you need what? Wisdom. Not cash, not money. 
Now let's read verse 17 together. Ready, go. I love those who love me, and those who seek me find me. Verse 18. With me are riches and honor, enduring wealth and prosperity. Verse 19. My fruit is better than fine gold. What I yield surpasses choice silver. Please, verse 20. I walk in the way of righteousness along the path of justice. And I like verse 21, the big one. Bestowing riches, inheritance on those who love me and making their treasures. What? Fool. Shall we lift up our hands? Let's say, God, we need wisdom to rule. Oh, please give me wisdom. Oh, Labasan. Oh, Labasan. Please have your seat. When it comes to leadership, you need wisdom because it's a spirit of leadership. And she said, "Ba Akenya, unhi nyansa. If you say nyansa no, e ya Akenya no ho." See, there are many definitions of leadership, but there's one that I love. Ya chere chere Akenya mu pebre na ba kubi wamu ame pepa. And this is it. I want it to be projected. And no me pese ye 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 she wumfuni so. This is from one John Hagar. He says, leadership is a discipline of exerting special influence within a group to move it towards permanent beneficial goals that fulfills the group's real need. The discipline of exerting special influence within a group. When we talk about a leader, then we are talking about the context of a group. Now, to move it towards a permanent beneficial goals that fulfills the group's real need. Let me bring out some facts in this definition. He's trying to say that one, in leading, you do not force people, but you motivate them. Human beings are not made to be dominated. See, the fact that you are a king 
you may think that you can be flexing your muscles on people and dominating them, but you can do that just for a while, they will rebel. You cannot force your people. You just have to motivate them. Number two, you should always be conscious that you operate in the context of a group. You are a king for a group. So your decision is not just for your own well-being, but think about the group. And that unity is critical. Number three. Goals set by the leader. Butaya. Must be permanent and beneficial. It must enhance the future well being of the people. So the focus of leadership is the people's well being. Please, do you understand what we say? The focus of leadership is the people's well-being. Not to satisfy yourself and grandizement. The people's well-being. This makes Solomon's prayer appropriate. Give me wisdom and knowledge that I may lead this people. This people. I'll take the last two points. So, why we need wisdom, number six. Because wisdom is power. When we talk about power, it is the ability to cause effect. Power causes effect. Yes. So, Wisdom is power. Proverbs 24, verse 5. The wise prevail through great what? Power. And those who have knowledge master their strength. But let's read the New Living Translation. If you have the New Living Translation, do you? shall we read together? Let's shout it. Ready, go. The wise are mightier than... Now, shall oh. we read that again? The wise are mightier than the strong. Oh, shall yes, we read it again? The wise are mightier than the strong. And those with knowledge grow stronger and stronger. Oh, yes, now, let's look at the effects of Solomon's wisdom. How, how powerful it was. 1 Kings chapter 4, verse 25. Verse 25. Now, during Solomon's lifetime, Judah and Israel, from Dan to Beersheba, from north to south, lived in safety. Everyone under their own vine and under their own fig tree. There was so much peace on the land. Now, you, Dani, Israel, Tanasi, Jojo, Wombobe, any one brother, Asi, Marco, Marco, if it done, Kosi, Bashiba, Solomon, and Nayina. Now, look at development. Second Chronicles 1, verse 14 and 15. Shall we read together? Solomon accumulated chariots and horses. He had 1,400 chariots and 12,000 horses, which he kept in the chariot city. 
and also with him in Jerusalem. Na Solomon boabo anti asia nam ne aponko soti for ano na unya anti asia nam apem ahanai ene aponko soti for impim dumiunu na odi won dia anti asia nam unkromu ene ohine inchen Jerusalem. Now, but let's take verse 15, the big one. Inti chemu dunum. Shall we read together? The king made silver and gold as common in Jerusalem as stones and cedar as plentiful as sycamore fig trees in the foothills. Now, on him, great any sika yes, a poor with Jerusalem. Any in Chindro and so a man no do do ye say a chair a war in papai so there's a young son of Yan. What done it done in no mamma or say jitter any sika. President By the wisdom of Solomon, he was able to turn things around to the extent that gold became like sand. And he built strong and powerful connections and relationships. He had a friend called Himran. He was the king of Tyre. Na onam so enya ayon kufa ene ayon kufa bibri na onya ohini bia na yefreno him himra himra and he that man was so sophisticated and wise he na, was a great king sa oberi manu na oyeni pa onimde oyeni ansafo Solomon in trying to please him because of all that the man has done for him gave him some cities. And then when this man came to Israel and saw the city, he says, oh, where now dear mommy? It was, it was something that was known when near what he had built. Now Solomon Peh said, also nenini to Omano, Israel and Kronibi. Na bra papa no eba Israel me mo be hun Kronu no asem obi say, ah, na Kronu ina, o dear mommy, na ento de we si no ho. This is the very king who said, blessed be God, who had given Israel a wise king. So the, the, this king understood what wisdom meant. Show me your friend. And I will show you who you are. What kind of a king you are going to become. You show me your friend. And I will show you what kind of a king you are. Let me take the last point. We need wisdom. Because we are operating in the enemy's territory. If we say, baby, I ain't nam no ye, or tamfo no, and pesuaso. Write Matthew ten sixteen. Sure, Matthew and Sempaniti do in Chichemu do in Sia at all. See, and lift up your hands and look at me. Now, Peja would see Nahemi. Let me come here and say what I want to say. Mamini and Chehana Minka and Pesa Mika. Yes, open your eyes. We We all have enemies. Let me say the second one from this corner. Not all the people will love you. Let me say this one looking at you. Not all the people will understand you. Yet you have to lead them. And so, as I said, would you one kind? So you are leading enemies. It would be a time for class people who don't love you. Anyone I want to ask people who don't understand you. Anyone I want to ask you have to carry them all along. I said, What's your way now? They won't call. You need wisdom. We hear your answer. You need it. We hear your answer. Wisdom. Is the manager of destruction and death. Let me say that again. Wisdom is the greatest manager of destruction and death. You see, we shall all die. 
But you see, when you see death coming from this angle, you must be wise not to go and meet death. Because nobody dies for himself. If he said, you die and leave ripple effect to people. If you say, so when you have the space of dodging death, dodge it. It will eventually catch up on you, but even Jesus, when they took the stones <laughs> and then he saw that it was not time for him to die, he sneaked through. A woman said, 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 A woman A woman said, 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 A woman I will continue. Metwaso. <laughs> <laughs>